You know, I've gotten a fair number of questions about soundbars and whether they support HDMI 2.1. Well, forget all that. There's a new boy in town. That's right, HDMI 2.2. The spec was officially announced at CES just last week. HDMI 2.1? Old news, it's embarrassing you still got cables plugged into your equipment. What does 2.2 mean for your home theater or gaming rig? You found me just in time because I'm about to break it down. Before I masterclass HDMI 2.2, let's remember together HDMI 2.1. The standard was released in 2017. HDMI 2.1 was a game changer or maybe gamer changer. It offered bandwidth increase from 18 gigabits per second with HDMI 2.0 to 48 gigabits per second. The technologies it brought include higher resolutions and refresh rates, so 4K 120 hertz, 8K 60 hertz, variable refresh rate, auto low latency mode, so it activates low latency game mode automatically, quick frame transport or QFT reduces input lag, eARC enables transfer of high bitrate lossless audio like DTSX, dynamic HDR, so frame by frame HDR optimization, wide color gamuts, so 10 bit, 12 bit color depth support. All this works out pretty well for us old fogies that like to sit back, pop in an ultra 4K Blu-ray and watch that 24 frames per second movie with stunning visuals and sound. But these gamers always want higher and higher refresh rates with their 4K and 8Ks. These divas want like 240 hertz or more. Insatiable. So what does HDMI 2.2 offer? Double the bandwidth. HDMI 2.2 increases the maximum bandwidth from 48 gigabits per second to a nerd heart pounding 96 gigabits per second, enabling higher resolutions and faster refresh rates without relying on heavy compression. Which means 4K up to 480 hertz, 8K up to 240 hertz, 10K up to 120 hertz. 10K and us reach it high so high, yeah. All the way up to 16K, which might as well be the number of Twinkies it takes to span the universe. Counted a thousand, then I counted some more. So what about my sound folks? Well, this may be the most exciting bit the addition of Latency Indication Protocol, or LIP. They got their acronym. HDMI 2.2 aims to tackle maybe the most annoying occurrence in home theater setups, audio video asynchrony. It's amazing how I'm fundamentally incapable of finding any one particular thing in the fridge while my wife has never once noticed sound being out of sync with video even when I tell her so she can suffer with me. Life is full of mysteries. I'd argue that AV asynchrony is worse than no sound. It's so very distressing. Anyway, with LIP, I don't think we're totally killing the problem, but we are being told it will greatly improve the situation. To support this huge jump in bandwidth, HDMI 2.2 introduces a new cable standard the Ultra 96 cable. You'll need this cable to unlock the power. Look for the Ultra 96 label when shopping, though try not to look at the price or the length. Don't expect cheap long U96 cables until about 2055. So which manufacturers are doing the work to bring us HDMI 2.2? Well, that remains a big chubby question mark. No one publicly, I think, yet. I really searched. Don't ask AI, just stone cold lies. I mean, hallucinations. But look for announcements to start piling up largely as an advertising technique at first, late 2025 and 2026. CES was made for these announcements. Okay, just a little bug to put in your brain. 
When you start seeing HDMI 2.2 advertised before you go buy version one of the thing, consider if you can benefit at all. Maybe you got the cable and the TV, but does your source component like your PlayStation or graphics card support it? As of this timestamp, no. Let it marinate. Okay, thanks for watching. Do the things if you liked this video. Write helpful comments. I read them and get smarter. All right, wrapping this up. Catch you on the next one. Plug in.